What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Mikhail Rose, and welcome to Iconics Radio. I'm so excited about today. Um, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to stay in my seat. Okay. As you do know, we do have a new home here, and welcome. Now, without any further ado, you know him. You've seen him. You've seen a lot of his work. But the man with the pen and the plan is here uh, once again. Mr. Joseph M. Moore. Vision. Joe, how you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. I'm start calling you the blow up on <laughs> Because she know how to blow up somebody's ego. She will blow up somebody's ego, boy. You well, feel like you just climbed Mount Everest and you just stood stop. on an anthill. <laughs> you know, let me say, you make it easy. You make it so easy because um, your work is original. Um, your work is very authentic. It touches the hearts of so many people. When I saw Gutter for the first time, um, I seen so many of my friends. Um, I seen myself a, a time or two. Uh, you know, but your your work is so relatable, and we're here to talk about more work yeah. that. The man with the pen and the plan has brought to us once again. Um, thank you so much. Like, like I'm hands here, down. Um, you know how to make a woman feel good um, with your words, but you also know how to talk about the life of a woman in so many original ways. Platinum is coming. Yeah, platinum. platinum. Woo! This December is a heavy 6th. one. December 6th. Yeah. Um, the uh, movie premiere here in Houston, October 19th. We're about to do it. About to do it again. Um, again. You're bringing now. Now let's talk about platinum because this let's is get to it. It's 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 a it's a it's the prequel to, to gutter. gutter. Yeah, yeah. Now for those who don't know about gutter, uh, <laughs> please just real quick. What what's the numbers? What numbers have gutter done thus far since the release? Well, well you know, it's hard to say what numbers really. Because I don't want people calling my phone acting crazy, <laughs> but um, but I can tell you that we were number one on Tubi for a good while, and um, they released the top thirty Tubi Af African American movies of all time. We top thirty. Top thirty. Whoa. And we were twenty two, which is interesting because we just came out in January, and all those other movies have been out since like twenty seventeen and stuff yeah. like that. So for us to be on the list was crazy because I look, you know, I'm a, I'm competitive, so I'm gonna <laughs> look at who's ahead of me. Like, yeah, yeah. Who's that movie and when was they out? And yeah, um, yeah it's like 2015, 2017, 2020, and we just came out in 2022 and we were already 20, number 22. So we thought that was crazy. I'm a numbers girl. Okay, you came out in 2022. Right. You made 22 on the top 30. No doubt. That's so yeah. less than a year, yeah, literally less than a year, you've already hit one of the like well-known top network. Absolutely. Like, so people be trying to play Tubi too. That's hilarious. Like Tubi ain't it. Tubi is what everybody's watching. Tubi is what everybody's watching. People want to say, "Hey, are you gonna be on Netflix?" Nobody's watching Netflix. Everybody's watching Tubi. That's right. And it's the truth. Very Netflix true. numbers are going down. Respect to Netflix. Shout out to Netflix. But the truth is, everyone's watching Tubi, and people are watching Peacock. I just saw yes. the numbers on Peacock, boy. It's ridiculous. Yes. And we have a movie on Peacock, How to Get Away with Cheating. Check it out. How to Get Away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, fellas, listen. We staying busy. The right? man with the pen and the plan. Yeah. You are digging into some very important topics, mm -hmm. um, some very untouched topics um especially with platinum looking at the trailer um it was very interesting how a simple guy can change his life around so instantly just by hooking up with a couple of bad chicks yeah um, they're diamonds they're diamonds <laughs> they're diamonds yeah they don't they're not hookers they're diamonds yes. okay according to them to call them anything less would be disrespectful to the value of what they come to the table with, let's say. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Suspense, yeah. suspense. I love it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Platinum is the the prequel to Gutter. Gutter is us telling you how Gutter became the dude, right? Okay. Platinum is telling you how Platinum came to be, and why that's important is because Gutter Two is telling you about when those worlds collide. 
Mm. So yeah, so mm. we we feel like we're the first, um, we're the first people to put the movie out, then the prequel, then the sequel. We say we're the first. Somebody told me M Night Shyamalan did it. I don't, huh. I don't agree, but um, you know we'll see. Well, it's twenty twenty two. That's all I'm gonna say. So keep up, okay? <laughs> no, no, no doubt, no doubt. But yeah, but to see how Platinum became who he is, and the cool thing about Platinum is people might think, okay, it's gonna look like Gutter, it's gonna be like Gutter. Yeah, it's a totally different movie. Yeah, it's a totally different movie. Um, you know, people. The, the question is, is it better than Gutter? Um. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, I can truly say that um, one thing that you're great at is you're great at taking A-list celebrities mm -hmm. and the up and coming. Balancing them, putting them together. Yeah. You are great at that because there's never a big I, little you. It's like mm -hmm. everyone's on the same platform. Yeah. Um, Zeno Williams was amazing in Gutter. Shout out mm -hmm. to Mr. Zeno, uh, the Gutter man himself. A mm -hmm. um, couple other stars you had in there. Who should we look for in Platinum? Uh, we're working with Jeff Shelley, working with Lil Daryl, uh, Brady Bob. What? Um, these comedians around Houston who are very, very talented and very well known. Um, uh, Courtney Cameron Camaro is yes. phenomenal in this movie. She is, she is phenomenal. She is. Um, and uh, Jasmine Lewis from um, Barbershop. She's okay. In this movie. Um, so yeah, we have a nice little cast. He's so humble. I just love. Yeah. Now let me let me say um, I've had the privilege and the honor uh, to work with you um, to work under you. Yeah. And and, and I can Let's truly get into say, that. Let's get into that. <laughs> I can truly say yeah. that. You are uh, two totally different people. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Um, but it's necessary to get the quality of work that comes out in order for you to get to twenty two in the top thirty on BET. It takes it. You can't you can't be chill all the time. Nah, uh, nah. you got to be on time. Yeah, know your lines mm -hmm. and be ready to work and dig in. Yeah. Let's talk about the difference um, from gutter and platinum. Was there a difference when shooting platinum that you had to dig in a yeah. little bit deeper? Yeah, uh, platinum. Okay, so platinum is about a pimp, right? Becoming of age of a pimp, right? Okay. So I had to think. Okay, there are certain pimp movies that are iconic, mm -hmm. and so we wanted to give it that feel of being an iconic film, like The Mac. You know what I mean, or Superfly. Mm. So we wanted to shoot it in that way, where it's like, okay, this is a new version, 2022, and I don't, I want people to get caught up in what year it is. It don't matter. You know True. what I mean. Facts. But what matters is the feel mm -hmm. of it. So we had to shoot it different than we shot Gutter. Uh, we shot with um, different lenses, and so it gave us that that kind of uh, old older feel to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And then we made sure the music gave us that vibe. The music is always so important. Okay, so we wanted a, a Curtis Mayfield type feel because I was super I love fly. It. I love so it. the first song that come that when when the movie comes on is gave you that feel. Mm -hmm. And um like the Mac started off on a bus. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we started off on the bus with Platinum. Mm -hmm. So he went from Oklahoma City and we he drove all the way to Houston. Wow. So um yeah. The life of a, you know, um, if you ever come to H Town, uh, you know this little spot on um, Southwest the Dubs of uh, Bissonette Beach Nut area. Shout out to Bissonette. Listen, yeah. <laughs> I, I really, I really want to highlight this because I think this is going to open up a lot of conversations. When Fifty Cent first came down here, they had a meme going around of him being on Bissonette. Um, what was it like getting with females, um, women, actors, and pulling out, like digging deep into, you're about to play the life of a hoe. Mm. Like, this is what you're experiencing that. How hard is that to get that? Because some women of, of class, you know, you got to get a little raunchy a little bit. Absolutely. Let's talk about getting into the gutter with some of the actors uh, in this movie. I think, um... Um, one of, uh, shout out to Doug Schwab, he's our distribution, uh, he's, uh, and he owns Maverick Entertainment. Me and him have conversations. 
he asked me one time, he said, how do you get women to do some of these things that you do? Yes. They do. And I said, they trust me. Wow. They trust me. I don't try to holler at actresses or try to date them or anything else like that. Right. I want to work with them. I want to get the best performances out of them. Mm. So when you're asking someone to do some of these things, they have mm -hmm. to trust you. You know what I mean? And they understand that I'm not trying to do anything but tell a really interesting story. Right. Because that's what we do. We tell interesting stories. Yes. Um, so we have conversations and I try to get to where they're their um, stock points are, you know what I mean? It's like, oh wow! And then they understand that when I direct, I don't want to stop point. Just okay. being honest, because it has to be real, it has to be authentic. Mm -hmm. So you have to be in the moment, mm -hmm. and you can't think about your grandmother and what she's gonna think or what my boyfriend's <laughs> gonna think. And it's like you can't do it. Right. You know, we're trying to we're trying to make a movie here, and the thing about movies is, if I told you about a pimp and he met these girls who called themselves diamonds or whatever, mm -hmm. and this will happen, you'll start to visualize it as I'm telling you it. Movies show you mm -hmm. the story. Mm -hmm. So the story can't be phony. It can't be, it's, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe we're witnessing this. But that's what we have to do as filmmakers wow. and artists. Wow. We have to show people the story. Mm -hmm. And it can't, and you can't be short-sighted on that story. You gotta be honest about that story. And I explain this to the actress. And or actors, and they understand it, mm -hmm. and they they if they don't dive in, we lose. So you have to dive in. You have to commit one hundred percent, or don't take the role. I'm fine with that. I won't be offended. Just don't wow. take the role. But if you take the role, I need a hundred percent. And in platinum, they gave me one hundred percent. It was fire. The trailer is crazy. I was like, yeah. whoa. And I think that's really what led me to ask you that question, because I think um, for women, and, and especially the way that a lot of things have been sexualized and artists are going up many different ways, we have to talk about stuff like that. No doubt. And yeah. then the, the lifestyles go into a whole other different way. But let's talk about the creative part of it. The creative part of uh, Platinum is very interesting because it happened right here in Houston. I love the way with the with the trailer, you get a big zoom sign, a uh, visual of the state of Texas, that mm -hmm. pool scene. And it just symbolizes where it's shot. Now, we're talking about the dirty south. No doubt. Um, you represent NYC. What made Buffalo, you New York, shout out to Buffalo? Yeah, uh, uh, listen, yeah. <laughs> nothing like a New York. Okay, no, no doubt, no doubt. um, let's talk about creating these atmospheres, these stories in the South. What is it like? Yeah, that's a good question because coming from Buffalo. All right, so I come down. I come down here in two thousand five. I was working on Waters Rising. I wrote it with uh, Greg Carter and Sean Mack. And um, so I got New York on my mind. So mm -hmm. my whole language, my whole dialogue, everything is New York. You know, I came down wearing Tim's and, you know, I didn't have a bubble coat, but it was close. Yeah. With the hoodie on, on the parka and everything. And, like, I'm all New York. So I come to, to Houston in this, this southern twang and <laughs> all that stuff. And I'm like, like I could never work with them <laughs> in a movie. It was all that southern twang and all that other stuff. And now I'm so used to it, and I love it because it's character. I mm -hmm. love character. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like I still love New York, but the South is like I got so much love and respect for the South because I love the characters that they are themselves. They and 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 that's pretty much every area. You know, New right. York is gonna be New York, and yes. I love the South because they're gonna be the South. Yes, and they're gonna and they're gonna represent the South. Like, yeah, we it. Like we do it like this down Southern there. males, ow. No That's doubt, no doubt. <laughs> and I, I love that shit about the South. So yeah, so it, it it took me a minute to adjust. Yeah, you know what I mean to yeah. the way people talk. But now I'm so used to it. Yeah, that it's crazy. And there's some people that I'll be working with. I'll be like, I can't believe <laughs> I'm working with somebody with all that sort of Southern twang, and I like it. I yeah. get a kick out of it. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like it's really really cool. So. I love it. Um. Not to mention uh, diversity. Um, your pen game is strong and crazy. You're now, how many films 
have you worked on up until this point? Not including the up and coming two to three, but up until platinum. Up until platinum. Ooh. Oh, man, that's uh, water rising. But see, some of them I worked on that didn't get made. But man, we put time in them joints. Because I was working on, I got into this industry working on the trunk with Boris Kojo and Brian White and uh, Melee Entertainment, who did um, You Got Served wow. and Next Day Air. And um, yeah, so I got into it with them. And Diamond Hansu was attached to that project. Um, I wrote it. And that's how I was supposed to come into this business, but uh, it just didn't work out. But that was a big project for me because it was on IMDb. And Diamond was up for an Oscar. Mm -hmm. So I had an Oscar nominee attached to my project. You know what I'm saying? That, that was, part. That was my first project. So what did I say when you first came in? What What did I say? I don't remember. I wore my Oscar her dress, Oscar dress. <laughs> just for you. So for you yeah. to even speak. Yeah, it's crazy because talk, Joe. When, talk. When, when we were doing that, they were saying that this thing might win an Oscar. So I was really crunk about the Trump, but it didn't happen. Um, mm. But then we did our was rising. Uh, I did made the kill, which was a psychological thriller, and that didn't come out for various reasons. But wow. it got shot and it, and it got distribution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just never came out, and I ain't gonna go there on this one. Um, and then we did uh so but made the kill is on my IMDb. Okay. Um, then we did uh, um speed dating. Speed dating. We did speed dating. Um, then it was because I love you. Then it was complex. Then it was how to get away with cheating. Wow. Um, she, she's sexy. Better. Wow. Now, when they say your work is never in vain, mm -hmm. the work that didn't get released could mm -hmm. never supersede the work the work that has been released up until now. Because you've done a lot. But hold on, y'all. We just talking about 2022. Right. 2023 is coming. It's about to get serious up in here. Yeah. yeah. We about Platinum to is releasing in December. December 6th. You've been, you've been doing auditions. And you're, you're getting ready to release another movie right after Platinum. 10 Reasons Why I'm in Cheat. A conversation that needs to be had. Ten high. reasons why men cheat. Ten yes. reasons why men cheat. Yes. It's oh be big. man. Yes. Um, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna definitely bring you back for that one because mm -hmm. this is gonna be good, guys. Listen. Um, could you please tell the people where they can find you, where they can go and support the movie Platinum? Uh, Platinum is going to be everywhere. It's going to be on Tubi. I think it's going to be on Fox Soul. Uh, it might be on Peacock. But uh, Maverick Entertainment is releasing it. Um, you'll, you'll hear all about it. December 6th It's going to be the release. We're going to be promoting it. We're going to be pushing it. Um, so, yeah, get ready for it. Because um, we're premiering it October 19th. Get your tickets. Um, that thing is going to be crazy. It should be packed. We got a lot of people coming out, doing interviews. Like, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. And dress we're gonna be dressed like pimps and players and all that other stuff and we're gonna have some fun with it. Um, I was gonna wear my special dress tonight, but I said, Let me come in the Oscar ready. Yeah. So I we can, you know, I, you know, we're gonna save that for later. Yeah. Um December is coming right around the corner for the holidays. Yeah. Um, you also have um a Christmas movie that's coming out. Yeah, everybody hates Christmas. We're gonna we, <laughs> We start shooting that movie in February. Yeah. Whoa. We busy. I'm Book busy. and busy, taking auditions, looking for up and coming stars, Always. making stars. Yeah. Um, guys, I'm just so humbled to sit here because you all you're always willing to give your platform and information out to others, to the youth that are sitting here and they're listening to your voice. What words of encouragement? Um, would you give them right now? Uh, the same thing I always say. Never give up. You cannot, you can't give up. If it's your dream, and let's say you don't have a talent, figure it out. Because uh. it's your dream. 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's things that you was meant to do. Mm. Maybe you're not the best actor, but you're a good actor. You know what I'm saying? You're hungry. You know, you, you love being on set. You might turn out to be an amazing director. You know, you might be a great storyteller. So it's just like, don't give up your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to pivot a little bit, mm -hmm. but don't give up. Mm. So that's what I would say to anybody. Thank you so much, Joe. Um, normally, I have a game prepped and ready to go, but tonight is a little different. Got to freestyle this thing going out. I was going to say, because we can do the game. Oh, I'm you ain't game. ready for that game no more. Cause, no, you won. You won, won. So that's why I'm not playing with you tonight. I won. I won. Yeah. <laughs> but right. I do have um, a question. Mm -hmm. And my question is very broad. And if you would like to get a little help from some of the people in the room, please uh -oh. feel free. <laughs> uh -oh. Are you Joe, ready with this one? Oh, yes. Gotcha. Joe, I want you to give me three reasons why women cheat. Hmm. Oh, that's easy. Oh, come on. Bring it um, home. Slam dunk. Um, revenge. Oh. Um, three women, reason why women cheat. I know it's revenge. It's. Jay Marie, like, yo, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's usually. And then there's some women who are just like. It, it, it really. Because <laughs> everything points to revenge. Because I was gonna say I'm gonna do you like you did me. Okay. Um. Uh, not getting enough love. Okay. Um, that's another one reason why women cheat. Last yeah. one, ten seconds. That's gonna be intention. Hard. Come that, on, let's um, go. Ten. The last reason why women Nine. cheat because um they're way more sexual than men think they are. Jay Marie, that's yeah. a good one. Women be women be full of crap. <laughs> good, that's the that's the final they're, answer. They're, they're, they're just much as a dude Listen. as a dude is. Some women are just yeah. much of a dude as a as a guy. So you think you playing her, but she playing you. I will say this on behalf of the real women out there. We hold it down in the front and the background. So thank you so much, that's true. That's the true. King. The one and only Mr. Joe L. Morton. Stay tuned, guys. We have another amazing guest coming up to talk about the movie Platinum. Another part of the Jimmy Jam Terry Lewis of the film. Listen. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joe. I love you. I love you, I love you more. We'll be right back, guys. Izzy.